Hello everyone and welcome to the New Tech Get Started training for the Connect Spark Plus. The Spark Plus is a portable and compact video to IP converter that enables you to directly connect cameras, gaming systems, or any other HDMI device and have them instantly available as high bitrate NDI compatible sources on your network at resolutions up to 4K UHD 30p. Included in the box is the Connect Spark Plus, a USB cable, and a power adapter. On the unit itself from left to right is a reset button, an ethernet network connection, an HDMI input, an HDMI loop output, an eighth inch line level audio input, and a power port. On the front of the unit is where you will have your program and preview tally lights. So first things first, I want to connect the HDMI output of this camera into the Connect Spark Plus. So we'll plug in the HDMI output here, and now plug in the cable into the Connect Spark Plus. Now we have the connection between these two devices. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up on my laptop an application called NDI Studio Monitor that you can find for free at ndi.newtech.com. And this application lets you browse your network to see what sources are broadcasting over NDI. And at the top of the list here is my NDI Spark Plus. And if I select that, boom, now we have the HD resolution coming off of this camera into the Connect Spark, which I can now view from any NDI compatible device on our network. Now to configure the Connect Spark Plus, I can use the NDI Studio Monitor application and go to the bottom of the screen and click on this gear icon on the bottom right. And that's going to bring up a web browser with the IP address of this device. Now to log into the Connect Spark Plus, you'll need to type in the username, which is admin and password, which is also admin. Select login, and this will take you to the landing page of your Connect Spark Plus. From here, we can see the native resolution of the output of our camera, which is providing video to our Connect Spark Plus, the frame rate, bit rate, and audio format, along with the serial number of our Connect Spark Plus. You can also go through under the basic settings option to change your device name, determine which NDI channel you want to be going out of, and directly beneath that is the audio source. From here you can select either the HDMI embedded output of your device or you can plug into the 8th inch jack on the Connect Spark Plus to bring in a different audio source altogether, like an MP3 player for example. You also have a volume slider here for determining how loud you want those audio levels to be coming through. And you can also reset, reboot, restore, and update the Connect Spark Plus directly from these basic settings. Now beneath that is an option for you to configure your network settings. You can leave it as default, which will just assign it a random IP address, or you can go into multicast and set it up that way as well. Underneath that is our Ethernet options, which will give you all the information you need for the device itself. And beneath that is our local link fail safes so that you can directly connect a laptop into the Connect Spark Plus. Now let's connect the Connect Spark Plus to our TriCaster. Now within the TriCaster interface, to access the Connect Spark Plus output, simply go to any input, click the gear icon on the input you wish to use, and under the source dropdown, select the output of your Connect Spark Plus, and you're good to go. Now when you're in the TriCaster interface, if you have that input selected on your program row, you'll notice that on the front of the unit, you'll get a red tally light. And if it's on the preview row, you'll get a green tally light, just so you know when that source is being used. Now let's say there's a production that's out in the field where there is no network to use, but you still need to record a video. Or you need to troubleshoot the Connect Spark Plus directly, and for that there's an option to directly connect your PC or Mac to the Connect Spark Plus called Local Link. Okay, so now that we have the Connect Spark Plus and our laptop directly connected with a standard network connection, what we'll need to do next is to change the IP address of the laptop. So this might look a little bit different depending on your device, but I'm going to go into my adapter options and we'll change the TCP IP version 4 and we'll use the following IP address. We need to use 
dot 100, and then anything else between 1 and 100. Your subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0, and your default gateway will be 192.168.100.1. And we'll click OK. Now, by default, if you check the manual for the Connect Spark Plus, all you really need to do to access and change any of the uh, settings within the Connect Spark Plus is to open up a web browser and we'll type in its default IP address, which is 192.168.100.168. Press Enter, and you can see that we're already connected. I'll log in with our username and password, which is again admin slash admin. Boom. And now we have full access to the Connect Spark Plus. So again, from here, you can change the device name, make any changes you need to. But more importantly, in this situation, which is going to be typically used for changing your IP settings back, say you set it up uh, manually, go back in here and say, all right, yep, this IP address, we don't want it to be set to that. Let's set this back to dynamic. So next time we connect to a network, we can now use it anywhere. Thank you for watching today's Get Started Training and for more information about the Connect Spark Plus or all of our new tech products, visit newtech.com. Thanks for watching.